part two. Oh. Hey, I'm back. So I, I, what I am doing now is I am just going to go through the little bits and pieces that I have in the equipment that's in the car here with me or the truck, sorry, not the car. Uh, what I carry with me, the boxes and the bug out stuff. Um, I think I've done a video on my sleeping arrangement. And so all I'm doing right now is I'm going to pack up my bed that I had last night and, uh, I will go through the more important, crucial equipment besides the bedding. Bedding is kind of crucial and important too, because you don't freeze or took us off. But uh, I will get on that in a second once I roll up uh, all this uh, fun stuff right here and break down the cot. So we all know we have a combination of different sleeping gear that I use. You know, we have the motorcycle gear that is combined with the truck camping gear. And out of that, I also pull my period camping gear when I do fun stuff like that. But uh, I will show you the motorcycle camping gear and the additions that I put to that for my truck camping. And then you can also see some of the furs that I also throw in with the apocalyptic stuff. Also works as my period gear. So, motorcycle camping gear. We have tent, we have under pad, we have uh, inflatable comfy sleeping thing on her, and we have bedding. That goes with, with truck camping gear. Ooh, this whole mess here. That will be the buffalo skins, the elk skin, the deer skin, the cot, the pillow, the, the inflatable pillows, another weird little pillow, sheep skin, and the pug. This is very important. You must have pug to go on feet or you will freeze at night. Forgot about a very important part of the, your vehicle. Mine's the front. So, you know, when you're traveling, what do you put in the front of the vehicle before I pack it? For me, it's pretty easy. Uh, I usually have a container of fluid, water, or something like that. Something that I can drink out of. Um, just my traveling light schmogs. I bring an extra blanket for the, the doggies and puppies. Got a water bowl for them. I usually have a little broomer here that I carry with me. Small incendiaries. Um, inside the bag, it's not filled with much, but what I have in there is usually that's where I carry my extra bandanas, leashes, severed heads. But, uh, you know, just I travel pretty light when I'm when I'm doing the, uh, the vehicle stuff because most of it's in the back. So I don't need to get it until uh, I stop. So travel light inside here. I may sometimes put some some bedding in here depending on how much stuff I have in the back with me. Since we're on the outside of the vehicle before I go inside, uh, this is stuff that I drag out of the inside. It's carried with the back of the car, but it is stuff that I use, you know, on the outside to camp with. I got a variety of my water containers. Um, this one's the larger one. I generally fill this with uh, like water. Well, I at least keep that one water. The smaller ones I have fun with. That's usually my, my fun jugs. And with fun jugs, you know, you have to have fun with jugs. Yes, bad pun. But that's where I put my, like, I'll put like my, my jungle juice or something fun in there for that one generally. Unless I absolutely need the water. And then I'll fill it with water. Um, I have some containers that I put up on the side of the vehicle. And the back one, there's there's nothing spectacular in it because they don't lock. I'm always kind of wary of some jackass getting into them and stealing stuff out of them. So in this one back here, 
this one's basically with tent spikes and then i have a piece of red cloth that i throw in there so i can tie it on to anything sticking off the back that is about it that's about as basic as you can get there uh this one over here i'm not even going to open it that's where i stash my cigars it's not a med kit that's my cigars my outdoor smoking entertainment center here um this uh is the the samson goliath thing here whatever the hell it's called but this is all packed up ready to go back inside the truck when i'm ready to depart but it is a simple crate that has uh my oil lamps mess kit charcoal at the bottom some bottoms lighter fluid and the the thing my bob here that i can actually light off so that's all it's all stuff that i need for that this is just a new box that i got that remember that tectocraw cross triathlon or something like that from the zombie movies yeah it's an actual box but you've seen this before inside here it is just generally there's water in there um and uh, i can put the charcoals in there as well and candles and just basic fire stuff fire making stuff but this makes the table when used with uh doing where i put it the stand the stand that's over there the stand that's over there feels you know underneath that thing it makes a little side table that i can work off of um my chair the chair i think i've showed you this before but uh you know, multi-purpose thing. So it's got an egg crate, or whatever they're calling it under here, the old chicken crate, traveling crate, it's a weird crate. That's got all my camouflage in there and a seat up there. That also allows me to step on it so I can get up higher because I'm a short shit. Um, I also have my candle burning equipment. Uh, I put a little light out here and heat. On the flip side over here, this is the, the fire pit, the reflector and one of my stools underneath there so that is the outside setup of the vehicle with the tarp that's on the outside as well uh, i usually have extra chairs that i carry with you know just i don't know i just carry them this is a skateboard chair and then uh i got a couple of my personal bags out here this is more of my uh medieval um uh, primitive life skill kit and inside that that's uh, leg wraps and all that stuff but i just hang it up because i keep it I try to keep the stuff together um that's the outside of the vehicle fun little note in a pinch tent spike if you need it screwdrivers or other sharp pointy tools driven in the ground will hold your wheels down and the nice thing is you always know where they are when you need to look for them well the first we'll cover are my ammo boxes i have got them marked and i'll go through what i have inside of those uh that yeah sorry that, that that's a pee jug because it's cold in the morning i don't like getting out of bed but another egg crate thing crate jingamadera whatever these are called crate milk milk crate that's what they are so inside the so basically i got like two egg crate oh god jesus i have two milk crates that i carry with me with a couple up on top of the vehicle as well to hold stuff but uh this one is like shovel lanterns and like utilitarian stuff and it's just it's it's, it's like a junk drawer it's just some place to put the stuff so i don't get it all confused and messed up and put everywhere else okay so that is that where do we start with these guys okay this is the ammo crate that has fire and all that fun stuff in there um this is the almighty fire kit as you've seen me use before several times but this is the semi-permanent home that it lives in i travel with some extra charcoal light match light charcoal wow i've got my flints some bone for napping and thing that's an actual piece of flint down in there and then i have a striker but that's that all lives in lives in here so when i go out camping at various things i will take the uh, bag out and carry it with me but this way it's just marked i know where things are and uh it has all my fun fire stuff in there so move on to this one it's not that great what's in there is what it says that's ratchet straps because ratchet straps are 
great for tying down all my loads and and uh you need them every once in a while just good to know where they are that one's my booze my smokes and my daca you know i really don't know what is in this right now it's, it's kind of like the old utilitarian junk drawer again so i've got some paints uh silicon gels dog leashes and glue very limited amount of stuff that i have in there but it's in there or is the artsy fartsy stuff this one over here this is a work in progress but uh more med kit stuff um i've got a bag over here at the same time i have this too so this will be the med kit that you grab for you know when you're out camping band-aids light light equipment um this is my first aid kit that is more um built up you know that's that's where we're gonna have all the the higher end stuff that's the light end stuff so little johnny johnny boo boo gets a boo boo on his butt he gets a band-aid it'll come out of this thing that's pretty much that one lightweight heavyweight lightweight heavyweight got that and then we're back at the box so i'll crawl in here and uh, show you what i have in here as well with a little more detail okay in the back of the truck what we're looking at here this is more of my personal gear side of the truck. So not only do I have my hanging uh, mosquito net that I also use it to wrap around different straps, bungee cords, odds and ends, you know, but while it's not in use to hold the whole thing bundled together, that'll drop down in the summertime and we start getting insects when i'm out camping and you know so i, I don't have to b be bothered by the skeeters and all that other fun stuff so just went over those boxes there uh, i'm gonna recommend this always 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 get one of those little fancy fucking trash bags or something keep that with you man because the whole reason behind that is you know you accumulate little trash it's a hard habit to break because i for at least for me but, you know, I'm one of those guys going down the road, get my, my burger, my fries, and all that fun stuff. You know, my sandwiches, and you throw the garbage on the, or just throw it on the ground. You throw, I'll get it later. You throw it inside the front of the truck, whatnot. Get in the habit of just getting one of these dumb little garbage bags and carrying it with you, man. Even just uh, one of these little shower bags. So, a lot of this equipment over here is, I mean, it's not fully filled with stuff. It's more just odds and ends stuff that i use when i'm out camping or when i'm doing something else you know this is a this has just got some old gloves in there and what else do we got here old gloves and plastic bags um canteen empty bag but it's a shower bag so i generally will shove shit in there get to waterproof it uh uh next time i go on a cruise with a motorcycle i usually have one or two of these in there to keep my stuff dry little stuff bags um, again, this bag here, stuff bag, and inside it is, uh, you know, it's a little food thing. This thing's filled with, uh, like ketchup packages and, uh, uh, food, food stuff. Empty bag for putting shit in. This is my medieval coffee station. Inside there I've got my, you know, some hooks, the setups, and, uh, the little Turkish coffee makers. And then it's got a couple of jars in there. Also, the jars have uh, the coffee creamer and whatnot into it. So that's my, my coffee making bag. This is, oh, looks like I'm going to have to do some repair work on that. That is, I think I've discussed that in some other videos on what's in here. This is my tool repair bag. This thing goes with me everywhere, unless I specifically don't need it. The The minimum tool that I usually carry with is like, you know, is is something like this because you can get a lot done with this a needle and a thread and uh but this is more of like leather working tools repair kit and all that gear here okay i have a so i get the, oh, the focus going out okay so this here is a missile little freaking missile crate thingy sorry i'm trying to balance it precariously here and inside that uh, oop, oop. inside that we have a death prat roll this whole, oops, sorry about that but inside that i've got those little fiberglass tent um tent poles that hang up and down knives knives are stashed all over willy-nilly because i'm weird that way Ugh. 
my old suicidal tendency concert bag from 1980 something like that 1983 that's because I'm, I'm an old fucking punker inside that we have lights and stuffed animal doggy toys you know this is like more personal stuff that's you know little stuffed animal dog toy my dogs like to sleep with back here is one of those silicon buckets you can pop out it's bright green on the inside all pretty and shit but you know what i like the darker shades of things so that is filled with not absolutely nothing it's just a bucket that by the collapse down lays flat um it's one of those one of those things that i suggest it's really good to have um sometimes i carry around with me one of those uh canvas bags those water bags but they leak this is good for running down to the stream scooping up water uh you know whatever you need you know especially for emergency situations so you you need water or something like that throw on fires feed your dogs all that great stuff um back personal again stuff is this is literally and it's not this is a biohazard suit is what this is no joke it is a russian biohazard suit pants and uh, the whole freaking nine yards of the whole thing and why do i keep that because i'm weird that's why i keep it and i've marked it with my, my biohazard so i know what's in it also in a pinch it makes a really nice pillow so oh rotate back here a little bit i will come back to this stuff and pull it out and go through it um rotate to the business side over here inside this is another work bag it's, it's my personal bag my repair bag in there is string buttons rope you name it it's 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 a craft bag i do a lot of hands-on crafting of things when i am out doing stuff because you know everything i do is very primitive and period looking so that is filled just with weird stuff that i can repair stuff on the spot and keep it going and, and all that fun stuff so what do I have hanging up back, hanging up on this? On this, you know, I've got various drinking bowls. I've got two or three bowls hanging around here because, you know, I'm always setting cups down, forgetting right at where they are, or dogs need water, and I want to make sure they can get them something quickly. Um, I'm in the midst of repairing this. This is a gourd, but generally that has chalk in it, and it's used for a, a chalkboard. You know, nothing more exciting than that. Just pick that up. I don't know how I'm going to do with it. It's an arrow thing. I'll probably, maybe I'll put arrows in it. Um, besides, uh, God, that's several hundred feet worth of uh, the military rope string stuff. The, what is it, thousand yard, thousand mile rope stringy crap thing. You know, that stuff. Hanging off, that's a mirror, you know, so I can make sure my makeup's all pretty and shit. Um, ropes hanging out here. On top of this rope here are these little fairy lights for lighting. Uh, I've got several of these cheap light bulbs that you can hang up and get lighting. Lighting is important when you're camping so you can see what you're doing. This one's a little candle one. I showed that the last video. It kind of keeps the, keeps the edge off of the, uh, the, the coldness. Um, swing around once more. Also hanging up here is an extra canteen. I've got some my goggles and another drinking cup. So that is what I have just hanging in the back of the truck. And uh, I'll go over these bags here in a minute. Take a breathe and have some coffee and, and uh, get figured out what I'm to talk about next. Okay, this bag here. The first bag is a non-essential bag, as I put it. It's, it's just carrying my crap in there. Uh, yet another cup because, like I said, I've told you, I'm always setting them down losing them. Inside the front pouch, it is some toilet paper because you can never have enough butt tissue. And then I have another bandana that I just shove in there and keep in there. This bad little bag over here, I've got some small flashlights down here, little battery operated ones. Um, also keep wet wipes there. And this is, um, again, more, more toilet paper. So if things that I, there are two things I keep extras of. That is cups and TP. Because... Well, let's just say it's from experience. I've been in a lot of situations where those are the first things to fail or you can't find and you need. I think it was an island. There's three things I'd fucking bring. Um, a knife, 
toilet paper and a cup. I, those are my three items I would bring with me, you know, on one of those situations. What are you going to bring to a three island thing or your, your island survival thing? Um, over on this side is DACA. This is where I keep some of my fun, fun juice. And I've got, uh, that one's empty. What a shame. Got my little canteen flasks in there. And those bub bubble up in here. Again, in here is more of my post-apocalyptic costuming stuff. Which, ouch, what the hell was that? They just stabbed me. That is a sticker. You know, some fur, extra little furs. Uh, the schmog. And uh, some, I think some leg wraps. And just, it's more costuming stuff. Above their hat. Um, this is also where I hang my little dish towels because having a little towel you know man like the, the restaurant the end of the universe and all that stuff always have a towel my, my towel not may may not be too big but i always have a towel it is another important thing you know because i can't tell you how many times you spill something or you need something wiped off or your buddy here decides he has to take a leak and you are not quick enough to get him out and he pees on it because that's what these guys do but, uh, so always have a little towel around or something like that hanging up there. Mine's, like I said, it, it's quick so I can get at it. Um, got a mirror that I've been hanging. I've been trying to figure out, I think I'm going to hang it up. I like, just kind of like the mirrors are hanging up there. So I've got the, ooh, look at you. That's you. Ooh, there's you far away. Do you like the way you look? Let's see you closer. Oh, yeah, I'm weird. I'm sorry, I digress. Um... But I've got various duct tapes and tapes hanging up in here. That's my, you know, duct tape is another one of those weird essential things. You have something go wrong, tape it back there. Uh, I also like always carry some duct tape wrapped up on something. Um, actually, I've got the duct tape wrapped around one of my tent poles on the motorcycle. Um, it's a good 20 feet or so, and it's there for, well, when shit goes wrong, you need to stick it back on the bike or the car, duct tape. That'll work. It makes the world go round. So I'm going to open up some of these packages and uh, show you what's inside those. And I'll need both hands to do that. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay. So inside the bottom of this bag, there is near, there is inside of it just what it says. There's more toilet paper and other roll of toilet paper in there. I've also got some large tarpaulin sheets inside this thing. Um, Turletries. Because that's where, you know... I got a bag in there. It's generally in that bag right there, but I have another bag in here, and that is, you know, a toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, you know, your your traveling, uh, bathing equipment, toiletries, and stuff, and uh, deodorants and smell pretty stuff. So it's not that important what's down here, but that's what's in that bag. Um, hygiene, personal hygiene, at in situations sometimes is very necessary. You know. Uh, if, when you're out there and you're danky and stinky and really bad, you know, uh, especially when you start getting little abrasions and cuts on you, you got to keep them clean. You, you just do. And that's, that's what this area here is for. And that's inside the, the main part of the bag up, up here. Um, the front pouch here is my, my first, another first aid stuff. So uh, these, this was cool. I picked this up as a trade, but you know, a public bathroom safety kit. You've got some really cool stuff in there. Antiseptic wipes, all that fun stuff in there. And just, I think it was awesome. So, of course, I did some trade in there. Then again, you know, if you know me, I'm always in the, the, the porta potties and those are the worst places in the world to be at. Notebook. So, you can make notes. And, uh, um, you know, inside this is, it's kind of a diary, I guess. I've always made notes of different things ideas for food so when i forget because you know i get hit head a lot with some of the sports that i do and uh all that fun stuff you know, i i just make notes of of different foods that i like to bring with me that are easy to pack and carry with me also i have uh you know stuff to do notes and things like that when i'm out uh you know camping you know good source of wood uh you know, water sources. I'll, I'll, I'll go through that in another video. You know, it's kind of a weird I, I kind of combination of stuff I talk about it in what I do here. Tiger Bomb. Why Tiger Bomb? Because Tiger Bomb is awesome. I don't know what it is with this stuff. 
Um, when I was younger, we did uh, a lot of martial arts. I was a competition, you know, competition martial art, artist fighter in Taekwondo and uh, Moye Do. And uh, it was, uh, this stuff is awesome on bruises. And my life has continued as a, I've joined uh, the different societies like Society of Creative Anachronisms, which is basically stick fighting and empire medieval pursuits and i've even gotten into i probably should do a video of that i've done a little bit of steel fighting as well and the contusions and bruises you get is it's, it's just going to happen and tiger bomb is awesome stuff uh this is the the white which is a little more powerful than the gold or is the gold powerful than the white i don't know this is the strong and besides i like the way it smells also inside here is first you know just a, a first aid kit um, behind it is, uh, some other additions I've done to the first aid kit. I'm not going to dig them out, but, uh, that is the, oh, the tourniquet and, uh, a couple other, uh, higher end, uh, pieces of first aid equipment. Um, lighters. I always stuff like two or three lighters around. I've got lighters everywhere. Why? Because it is good to have lighters because you can use them for all types of different needs, wants, and accessories. So that's, that's what this patch here. This one over here is a, I'm not pulling it out because it is a pain in the ass to get back in there, but it is a heavy duty survival uh, emergency blanket. So it's got the silver on one side and then it has the, the a olive drab on the other side. Um, it is big enough to fit a, oh God, maybe a, a queen size bed. So that's, it's, it's a larger than normal one. I've used it in the past for camping on as my basic camping shelters and stuff like that to put it down. But I figured, you know, with the route that I've been going and everything that I've been seeing, it's, it's better to have, to have it here as a safety equipment and keep it there. Um, this is a neat bit of piece of uh, uh, equipment that I did some trading for at one of my events. And this uh, absolutely stunning, cute little girl was brilliant and did some trading for some things and uh, she put together a little emergency kit you got your alcohol pads you know your your eye relief stuff just some basic you know band-aids but I just thought it was a cute little kit and it, it works perfect and it goes again with more of the equipment that I need inside the first aid also inside here I have a ample supply of of uh, trash bags Trash bags come in all kind of use and goodness because if it's raining, you need a poncho, trash bag. If it is, you know, trash, you know that, something happens, lining a toilet in a pinch. You got to take a poop and all you got is back of your truck, busy interstate, you can poop in a bag. That'll, that'll take care of that. Picking up dog shit, kid vomit, all that stuff. Trash bags. Trash bags are awesome. You need them. They, they, they you need to keep it in there. Um... Also hanging over here is another one of my gas masks or a, a mask. So I'm going to take a breathe, repack this, and then I will go what I have in this bag. Because I don't think I have anything in that bag and I, I really can't remember. So I will find out, refresh my memory. So moving right along, I have the third bag here. And it pretty much has nothing. I think I've put my fire starting kit and some more sandwich bags that I found in there that I didn't realize I had inside this. Uh, I will probably most likely use this for mundane tools. Um, just a place to put uh, the tools and stuff like that in. Uh, but that's what in that. We will now go over here to the fabulous wood crates and see well, what the hell's in those. Be back with you in a second. So, tools. That is what is in this thing, which is a pain in the ass to open. So, tools. Uh, I haven't really gone far too far, but inside here, um, you're going to find tools that you need to work on the car. That's basically it. Uh, this is a secondary kit, tools, slippers, nuts, bolts, uh, you know, uh, grippy, magical things. You know, your, your engine fine tuners and thingamabots and what's it gigs and uh, the, the clicky twirly mig eagles because twirly mig eagles is, is important to have with your tools. So that is like my some of the mobile.
tools that I carry with me. Okay, so we'll swing over here. Try to get a view in here. Inside here is... Oh, try not smash hand. Okay. Inside a wooden crate, keep in the back. They fit two in here. This is one of the reasons I have them. I also like the Army the kits. When you yank these things out, they also, besides a working table, a place to sit on, you can flip these around and do some amazing things just with the, the wooden crate itself. Inside this, I have some generalized fishing gear. Fishing gear is good to have for various reasons. Um, this here is a propane stove, and I can hook it up to these little, uh, I'm sorry, it's not propane, it's butane. So I have uh, what, two butanes. I have a full one here, one that's here that hasn't been used much, and those are my butane cooking implements and all that fun stuff. I have a small grill that I can make a fire under and do some cooking with. Um, this is also where I keep my extra propanes. I have a set of the heavy-duty mugs. That way, when they bounce around and do stuff like this, they don't break. And uh, we can eat out of them. I have some of these. I don't know what country they come from, but they're uh, little cooking pans. You go like that, and you can cook with it over a stove. So... These are doubling up as pans to cook in and also eating utensils like a mess kit. Um, I've got, I also keep in here like four can, a couple cans of baked beans and a couple cans of chili. Um, I'll swap those out as the year goes on and I want to actually do some camping. But I just kind of, this is where I store them. You're also going to find extra tent, sp tent pegs in here, propane, uh, a couple cleaning rags. A wang doodle, what's it notter here? Uh, so I can pop open uh, cans, pop cans, and then I can flip my hamburgers and stuff like that. Also in here, um, underneath this guy here, we have uh, some eating utensils. Uh, everything is like military edition eating utensils. Um, I like using, well, I mean, it's tested in the field. It's army equi equivalent. You know, if, if the army can use it and not break it, uh, it's going to last. So that's what's in this first can here. Also, uh, also I should point this out. To go with the grill here, I also have a can that's stuffed with coals. And those are those self-light match, match light coals. There's also a lighter put on the top of that. So this is my bug out go-to kitchen box. Um, You'll notice with me, I have I mean, eating is a big deal in my life. So I have, <laughs> I like food. I'm a fat man. But um, I've got backups of backups of backups with uh, uh, the equipment when just, just in my bug out vehicle. I go way lighter when it comes to motorcycle camping or primitive camping. But that's that's what's in this box here. So also in those wooden crates, I got a couple of these. I keep them around. Generally, you can get these pretty cheap. These are the, the chemical heat tab things. Uh, they used to come with mess kits. I don't know if they come with them anymore or not mess kits, but uh, uh, the, the MREs. And you can pick these up really cheap nowadays. They're just You just add water, you seal them back up, and they, they put off heat. Not only as... Um, they stink, though. That's the only thing. But the, in, in a pinch, like, let's say you're in a condition and you're fucking freezing your ass off. This shit can save your life, okay? You can use it as a body warmer. Just don't breathe the crap. You know, heat it up. Throw it in a bag or something like that. Warm yourself up a bit. But it, it uh, don't touch it. It gets fucking hot, though. But uh, it'll also heat your meals up and uh, warm food. And warm food when you're freezing your ass off is... It's it's joy, man. It's it's pure bliss. Um, so I keep a couple of these uh, as well inside the uh, the mess kit area. Okay, this horrible black thing you're looking at here. This is a altered ice chest. Somebody threw it away. I apocalyptic did it out, made it cool, re revamped it. Um, I took the lid and sealed it with that expandable foam, so it'll actually keep shit colder longer. Normal. That's you know those expensive ice chests. I think I've touched on this before. You take those expensive ice chests and you, you they're hollow on the top and just fucking seal that with the, the expanding foam. And because these are old things and there's old pieces of uh, styrofoam into them, 
and uh, it'll just last you, not last you, it'll make your ice last longer. But inside here, let's see, let's take a look at what we have in here. Uh, emergency dog food, add dog dish, and more booze, because I think I'm discovering, I, I think I may have a problem. Also, what is that? What is that back there? Oh my God. Oh, this is difficult. Ah, my handy wipes. So all those are, are some more wipes and stuff like that. It's generally kept empty and clean like that. So when I'm ready to go, I can throw the foods and whatnots I need in there. You know, it serves as this, imagine that. It's called an ice chest. So you put your foods in there to keep them cold and endure things. How about that? Isn't that cool? Moving on. Okay, yet another small little box. I think this is a hand grenade can or something like that. Or a hand grenade uh, ammo box. Inside this, I have small little shotgun... Shot, shotgun, Jesus. Small little shot glasses. I think they're uh, urine sample cups. But you know what? They, they, they're clean and they work. And then there's also a toothbrush in there. Inside this bag of doom... This is the important stuff. This is extra coffee. This is my coffee, my sugar. What else is in there? Uh, various coffees and things like that, creamer, and also some emergency foods as in uh, canned uh, sardines and canned oysters. And... Uh, I was looking here. Some other coffees because uh, coffee is life, in my opinion. So that's what's in that little teeny box that sits over there as well. More foodstuffs, basically. So, my final box. What's in the box, man? What's in the box? What's in the box, man? What's in the box? Um, It's just prop stuff I use for wasteland stuff. That's about it. Nothing exciting. Sorry. That's all that one is. So I will scoot slowly out of here. So that is the interior of my wasteland themed kind of camper stuff. When I have to go someplace quickly and I have to bug out, that's when it becomes important. I have some other big giant water, water tanks I will throw in here that are on the side of my garage that are ready to go. And um, I've got a standing two four six i guess 10 gallons of water that's on the outside ready to go they've been sealed properly put a drop of bleach in them to keep the buggies out and all that shit out of there so they're ready to go i refresh those every every once in a while um the ice chest gets choked full of whatever canned foods we have available again i have a bit of a uh, uh selection that i I've, I've got a really good pantry uh be, i can't necessarily say i'm a prepper or anything weird like that but um here, here's the thing is, is, you know, I'm, I live in the country and, uh, you kind of adapt that, you know, everyone else is the, the term prepper. Um, I, I don't even call it prepping. It's just, it's country living, man. Um, if we got to go to the grocery store or something like that, that's, that's, uh, you know, that's fucking 60, 70 miles away round trip. It is, you know, and that's a full day, a full day jaunt. So, you just learn to buy more canned foods and for storage and things like that. I mean, in a bad situation, you know, I could lock myself down. I don't have to go to the grocery store for at least, at least uh, a good nine, ten months. You know, I'm, I'm, I'd have to get creative with some of the foods and cookings, but it's just uh, a lifestyle that I've picked up over the years. You know, just prepare for it. It's just simple farm living. Uh, besides that, having chickens that produce eggs and... Uh, and I call them livestock if it really gets that bad. We got a bunch of herd of deer that come on the property. And, uh, well, you know, uh, mountain cow is right there. But, uh, yeah, in a nutshell, that is it. If there's nothing that exciting about it, I hope that inspires some of you folk and uh, uh, gives you some ideas on what to put, put in, your, put in your, your vehicles. But basically, first aid and food and water, that's... That's really about it. Everything else is just extras. You know, you know, make sure you can make fire. Make sure you got water. Make sure you got some chow to eat on. You get those three basics and you're good to go. So, you know, I'll have to throw in your first aid there too, just in case something bad happens. But uh, that's it, guys. Uh, you know, hopefully that'll help you out. Show you a little bit of one of the weird shit that I do in my post-apocalyptic truck. 
I think this is more of a somebody asked some questions and I said I will go in and fill out some more information and and show you what I carry with me and you know um the primitive living skills that I've been using for a long time have taught me a lot I get by with a lot less than uh than you know the average person feels that they need and uh you know comfort's nice but uh you know, keeping keeping the rain off of you, keeping warm, fire, and learning primitive skills like that, that that's a go-to, man. That's a must. But anyways, I'll sign off. I'll see you later. I'll probably do some other, so just some pictures or something like that out to this, the end of this fun video, and uh, we'll see you later. We'll send that night to the puggy, too. Vicious puggy. Had an invader come into camp. Took him out. I'll tell you, man. These dogs, misunderstood. Pure evil. They're like little explosive dynamite boxes. When they go off, shit goes down. Y'all take care. All packed up, ready to head back. See you next time, kids.